Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we are going to discuss animations in JavaScript. We go through several websites and see things like hovering over something and it changes a bit. Right. These are known as animations. So we see that an image zooms out on hovering over that in some websites like Amazon. So is it possible to do something like this with JavaScript? Yes, it is. We'll find out how in this particular video. So before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. You can see we have an image slider over here. The images present inside this box keep on changing. We can also click on these radio buttons to go over a specific image. If we click on this last radio button, you can see we are moving to that particular image. Now suppose you go through the home page of any website like Amazon or Flipkart. You will notice that these websites contain such image sliders at the top for different type of sales and offers going on, right? That looks quite nice. So we'll do something interesting in today's video. We'll go over some specific animations like fading of an image on several events. We'll see how easy it is to make those style changes in JavaScript which we can't do with CSS or HTML. We are particularly talking about style changes during events. So talking about style changes, we have done it in the past using CSS and HTML and JavaScript of course. So guys, we generally say that JavaScript is used to make a web page more interactive, right? To make a web page more interactive or engaging, we have to do something nice to it. So adding fade in and fade out animations to a picture makes the web page more engaging to the user. So what we'll do today is we'll take an image and use specific JavaScript properties to make changes in that image. Let's move on to the VS code and you will understand it much better. Now let's add an image to the web page first. So we have a picture on our computer and we'll add it. So what we'll do is we'll write here img src source will be HTML dot PNG and the next thing we'll be using the alt attribute we'll write here let's say JavaScript so we can take any random image we are doing this for experimental purpose only so what we'll do next is we'll close this IMG tag we'll save it and here you can see we have an image over here we'll reduce the size and so this is the perfect size I guess now what we'll do next is we'll use the id attribute as well because we need to access this particular image so let's say the id is img fine now here we have an image and we have two possibilities to perform those animations either we can add two buttons and add functionality to them or we can use the on mouse over and on mouse out events so we'll use two buttons for now and then we'll use the on mouse over and on mouse out events to do the same task now let's add two buttons here. What we'll do is we'll write here input type is equals to button and then we'll write here value. Value will be let's say fade in for first button and we'll use the on click event. Fine. So we'll write here on click and we'll call a function on clicking this particular button. So this will be a function name fade in. Now we'll do similar thing again. We'll copy paste it and we'll change certain values here. We'll write here fade out and we'll call a different function. So we'll write here fade out. Fine. Now save it and you can see we have two buttons over here fade in and fade out. So nothing is happening on clicking over these buttons. We can change the size of this image using CSS, right? So we'll use CSS here only. We'll write here class is equals to let's say size and we'll use this style tag here we'll write here dot size and inside this we'll write width is equals to 50 pixels let's say and the height will be 50 pixels as well fine save it and you can see the image is pretty small right now so what we'll do is we'll write here 250 instead of 50 
save it now and you can see it's working fine i guess the size is decent let's change it to 300 fine so we have to keep these things in mind like what size we want for our image and we can use css for that right that's quite easy what we did is we defined the class we use the class attribute here inside the img tag and we have defined it using the style tag over here we are not using any separate css file for that so save it and you can see we have a image over here with decent size and then we have two buttons fade in and fade out now the next task for us is to add functionality to these buttons we'll move on to the javascript file and create our functions there so this is our javascript file we'll create a function here let's say the function name is fade in so this is the first function and then we have the body of this function now the next thing is to use the style property to fade this image let's talk about it in detail we need to access this image right so we'll use the document dot get element by id method to access the image we have already used the id attribute in the html file so what we'll do here is we'll write here document dot get element by id and the id is img fine now we have to use the style property the style property is used to add styling to any particular element or event with the help of javascript we can do it with css but we want to add styling as a functionality right this means that we want to style a element or image by clicking a button for that we have to use the style property here in our javascript file so we'll write here style now the next and the last thing is fading the image now we have a term named opacity in programming opacity refers to the fact of being opaque in programming if the value of opacity is 1 then we can't see through the image like making an image transparent and if the value is 0 we can see through that image or we can say that the image will totally disappear if the value is 0 so let's try it out here and you'll understand it so what we'll do is we'll write here style dot opacity is equals to zero now save it and click on this fade in button click on this fade in button and you can see the image disappears by clicking the fade in button now we'll add functionality to this fade out button as well for that what we have to do is we have to create another function here so the function name will be fade out and then we have the body of this function the working will remain the same we'll again use the document dot get element by id method we'll again use the img as id we'll write here dot style dot opacity now what we want is we want to bring back our image right so we'll write here one now here the values are zero and one respectively for fade in and fade out function let's check the output here save it click on this fade in button and you can see the image totally disappears and on clicking the fade out button you can see the image is here again now to actually make the image a slight fade let's say we don't want the image to be disappeared completely what we want is a slight fade in our image now what we have to do is we have to choose a value between 0 and 1 like for 0 it totally disappears right if we write here 0 0.5 save it now and click on fade in you can see the image fades slightly so this is how we can use the fade in and fade out animations in javascript and it will be totally fine if we write here 0 0.1 as well save it and if you click on this fade in button you can see we have this image over here still but we can say it's almost transparent or disappearing you can see it's over here maybe it's visible or maybe not but if you write here 0 0.3 or something like that and now click on this fade in button you can see we can see this image but the image is faded right so this is how we can use the fade in and fade out animations in javascript now we can do the same thing using on mouse over and on mouse out events in javascript we have to make some more minor changes in a html file only instead of using these buttons we'll use the on mouse over and on mouse out events inside the img tag so what we'll do is let's do it as well 
we'll move to our html file and we'll comment these two lines so we are done with it now the next thing we'll do is we'll use the on mouse over and on mouse out event right so we'll write here on mouse over first and we'll call the fade in function on taking the mouse cursor over the image and the second event will be on mouse out so we'll write here on mouse out and we'll call the fade out function fine on taking the mouse cursor away from the image save it and you can see we don't have any buttons over here now now on taking the mouse cursor over this image you can see the image fades a bit and on taking the mouse cursor away from the image you can see we have the original image here so this is how we can make fade in and fade out animations work in javascript you might hear that browsers do not support this method of using fade in and fade out animations in javascript in my case i have checked with three four different browsers like microsoft edge firefox chrome and internet explorer so it is working totally fine i want you guys to check if it is working or not with the browsers you have on your computer if not then do let us know in the comments and we'll figure it out make sure that you have the latest version of whichever browser you are using so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we will go through another animation effects in javascript that is the zoom in and zoom out effects in javascript if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you